yo so welcome back to today's weekly outlook on gbp usd what is going to happen in a couple of weeks coming on gbp usd remember this is what we do in forex talent community every single day to show you which currency pair you should be looking out for to trade and which currency pair is going to move massively and give you the maximum profit okay so with that being said make sure you hit on the subscribe button and when you like video like this make sure you turn on notification so that any single day that we upload a signal onto our community channel you can get notified and take a trading decision according to that but remember everything is for educational purpose only on this channel so everything has to be verified by yourself before you pick a trading decision so let's get started with weekly outlook on the GBP USD. So uh, for the couple of weeks that passed, we pick a buying opportunity on GBP USD and our take profit hit last Friday with the NFP move and continue to move higher. I told you guys this was a diversity in the market. So we are only looking for only buying opportunities. So look at what's happened here. This was the diversity of the market so when i take off every single thing on this chart so that we start analyzing from scratch a divergence happened on this market here okay this particular level here was when the diversity started okay so if you watch my analysis on euro usd as compared to the gbp usd you can see they are all moving in the same direction okay so this was the diversity of the market and market started going up here all the bearish move that you see are just a counter trend that is not going to last that is where when we analyze and we got the right direction we continue to go to that direction find opportunity depending on the direction that we've gotten during our previous analysis so i'm telling you gbp usd is still bullish okay gbp usd is still bullish when a change of price or change of direction started i'm going to update you guys on this channel again okay so we are only looking for a buying opportunity in this particular pair okay so we have this other block here which has been mitigated that was the reason why we picked that buying opportunity on there okay so we have this other block here which has been mitigated at this particular level here so we have this push up to the upside so what are the possible zone that this market can reverse to to pick up a momentum to the upside again so these are the zones that we are going to mark down and when market come we have to do what buy from those zones so we have the first other block region at this particular level here we have a resistance which has been break into support at this particular level here and then what we have a trend line at this particular level We have a trend line here this must be drawn properly this must be drawn properly and we have another one here so you can see this is not having any proper proper shape of trend line so that means this trend line is invalid that is how we do it so when we realize it's invalid we just delete them off okay so we are going to depend on the support and resistance level and the fibonacci level so when we want to get a fibonacci level of this particular trade here we pick it from the downside here which is the lower low to the lower high if possible this may reject okay from from where it is if it rejects from where it is here then what we are going to mark this zone as our level but because of this other block here is our level there already so what we are expecting is market to come into these zones 
So when market rejects from here, we may come to this level to push to the upside. Okay. When we are in this zone here, we have to push to the upside. Or we come here, we push to the upside. So these are the possible zones that we have. This lower zone here is being mitigated already. So we are going to pay attention to these two zones. And there is another zone here which was resistant which has been break into support okay this particular one here is also a zone here that we must pay attention to so these are the possible buying zones that we have on gbp usd so this one is just a simple analysis on here we are only looking for a buying opportunity. Any reversal that you see is just a counter move. Okay, you don't need to pay attention to those much noise. Because of all this imbalance here due to NFP move, this market may reject to the last zone here to pick it to the upside. So this is what I have on GBP USD for you. If you enjoyed this video to this level, make sure you hit the thumbs up to give a like to this video and don't forget to subscribe and go under this video to join the telegram channel and benefit from our free signal services goodbye and see you in my next tutorial